Stevens here with Lake Life Realty and I am here for phase two with project manager Hunter Secord with Stevens Landscaping Professionals. We're back on the shores of Lake Winnipesaukee in Meredith and now they're getting ready for you know the next step of this project. When we were here first, mostly just the natural stone wall solution walls were in. Mm -hmm. um, and so you'll see today throughout the video, the different patios, um, the bluestone patios you've done, the walkways. Tell us a little bit about the design and style choice that the owner went with for the patios. Yeah, um, so the owner selected after multiple iterations and reviews of materials, they selected a thermal bluestone. Um, all the patios are irregular. Um, the, when we get down into the stepping stone pathways and the networks that go down to the dock, we've switched to a, a more natural cleft bluestone just to kind of tie in better with the surrounding landscaping down there. Um, but all the, the front walkway, uh, there's a landing off the kitchen, uh, the patio that we're in here, the screen porch, and then the main patio on the lakeside is all a irregular uh, thermal bluestone. So it, it looks good. Um, it's going to be very nice once we get some of the other steps tied in on the lakeside. Uh, there's going to be some strip lighting under some of the big steps that go into the house, um, so it should should come together nicely. Awesome. And the time it takes to put you know a patio like this together, being the irregular, they cut every single side of each of these stone pieces. Yeah. So all the pieces come on a pallet, actually standing up. Sometimes they're laid flat, but they're all random shapes. Um, every piece is custom cut to. We always say you know no more than an inch, and if less, it's better for the joint size. Um, all of our patios are permeable, so they're all set on a crushed stone base. Uh, this patio in specific is under the, the ceiling here, or in the screen porch, so this is all actually set on a concrete pad. Um, so this took a little bit more time, cutting a few pieces, then setting them, cutting a few more, then setting them, and trying to, although it's covered, trying to keep the pitch away and outside, so if any water does get in here, uh, we, mm. can, we can make sure it gets out. Awesome. I mean, it's beautiful. And then, well, we're in Meredith on Lake Winnipesaukee. You had to do design work, you know, to the state regulations, but also the town. And Meredith has its own set of rules. For this particular site, what type of rules came into play for the Meredith rules? Yeah, um, so typically the setback from the water for a house is 50 feet. Meredith is 65. Um, so they did go through a quite intensive uh, design plan for the house as well as the landscaping, but you can really tell that they've kitty corner of this house in here a specific way to make sure that you know at least one portion which is really right here is right at the setback um, it kind of works in our favor because we always say you know putting the house as close to the lake as possible is great but it does limit the landscape in some way um, so because of the way that the shoreline kind of goes along we do have some flexibility in this patio we were able to get uh, where we wanted it and still be outside the setbacks that we need to be Awesome. I mean, it's beautiful. You have, um, you know, also thought about the lifestyle and use of this. So you mentioned some cobblestones are coming in and that's going to be part of like a lifestyle use at the property. What are you making with those? Yeah, so we're going to be doing uh, cobblestone tire tracks. I don't know if there's really another word for them, but that's going to come down just to a little bluestone landing for dropping off groceries. It's right next to the kitchen, ties in, so you can pull down that, drop off the groceries. And, um, you know, you can park there if you want to, but it's really supposed to be kind of subtle and just used for that one. And then what materials are around the cobblestones? Just grass around uh, Grass it? is around some of it, and then when you get up closer to the road, it's going to be some mulch with some, some native plantings around the outside edge. Very it nice. should be very, very inviting. And with this property, you have the tiered areas with the patio out, out by the lakeside. You know, how do you get away with not doing, you know, railings across all those or fencing or anything like that? Yeah, so this one in specific, they really did not want railings, so um, given the height that it was going to be off the house, they technically were going to need railings, so we worked on a, a tiered design so that they could eliminate the need for railings. Um, there's some spacing in between the walls, there's going to be some room for native saws and some uplighting, um, and they still get the space they want without having that railing in front of them, um, kind of blocking the view, but it's still designed in a way that it's safe if there's you know, younger people around or anything like that to you know, keep people from going off the edge. Nice. Awesome. And lastly, what's what's next? What's coming up in the next few weeks here? Uh, next is going to be, so we're, we're nearing completion on the patios. Uh, we have some stepping stone pathways to do. Uh, from there, we're going to be doing our soil preparation. In the process of our walkways and patios, we are doing preliminary sleeving for irrigation and lighting down the road. Um, once we wrap all that up, it'll be, like I said, soil preparation, planting. What's soil preparation? 
Soil preparation <laughs> is really getting the whole site ready for new planting. So okay. really when a new house is built, as you've seen, it looks like sand everywhere. There's clean material all around so that machines can get around, do their thing on the house and the landscape. Once we're done with all of that heavy, heavy traffic, really we try to get the whole place where there's going to be plantings with a good soil base so that when we put our new plantings in, it's you know set up for a long-term success. So that's next, cobblestones, um, landscape lighting irrigation, and grass and mulch. So it awesome. should come together pretty quick here. Perfect. So yeah. the next time we'll be here will be pretty much the final product yeah, at that point. Close, yeah. So super excited. Thank you so much. Looks Thank great. You.